Good morning everyone, or good evening at this point, and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we are continuing our journey through Manor Lords expanding the city of Apollon. And we're going to do probably this episode, I'm not sure exactly how many of them it will be. At this point of the game I just want to try to build one of each building, try to expand a bit more and then we'll see if, whether we continue or not. It's an early view, it's a demo view, it's a more than a proof of concept at this point, it's a, a demo game, but we'll be spending a lot more time in the full version. However, I still want to upgrade some of the houses and uh, make sure that we have some beer soon and a few other things. So with that in mind, let's just continue. At, the, at this point, Hopefully we're just, we're going to make it through the winter. We have a tiny bit of problems, right? a few problems right now. Let's see, hunting limit, if I bring it to 10, will they go and hunt? The answer to that question is yes. Pantry limit has been reached, so it's a bit curious how the pantry limit has been reached. Oh, it has been reached in the in the market. Now I see. Banati, because it says that it has been reached and build more, but it says that this for only for this food stall is not for the entire granary. Okay. I guess it makes sense. We are now, we have faith, we need entertainment and we need clothing. And I believe that there's no better time to prepare for the beginning of the year, right, for planting, than during winter. There's a saying here in Romania where uh, you make a sled during summer and you make a cart during winter, right? So you prepare for what's coming not wait until the season is upon you and then you start building what you need. Used to employ peasants on the fields. Farm workers plow the fields as soon as winter passes, then sow them with chosen crop, harvest them in September, then the crops are transported to the farm and wheat is stretched into grain. Okay, and then grain into flour and then flour into bread. For the moment, for the moment, we see why we we needed that tool. It's in order to build a farm. Thus, the first building that we will build will be a mine. That's it. Why I have to build this on top, or can I build it nearby? Feels like I could build it anywhere nearby, so I'm gonna do this, and we're gonna put a row like so. Good. And then the next building will be a bloomery, and finally we will be building a smithy a bit closer. Well, let's put it here. We have the wood for it, and that is that makes me happy. It's January, we still have some food, we're hunting these animals, I think it's close to extinction, I have to be very careful with that. And let's see, since we do have a little bit more of the wood, I would like to place another berry collector. And we're gonna place it over here. because I'll want to use one of these foragers huts to collect in here, this area, and use the other one to collect up here. Yeah, we're, we're losing on food and fuel quickly. Great to a large granary. Of 
February is... Spring is almost here. I believe we will survive. Not everybody is too happy. We'll, of course, have to rethink our strategies and collect a bit more aggressively. Let's see. Smithy has been... The Smithy has been constructed. I would like the Bloomery to come in here. We need one person in Bloomery. We need go, at least one person in the mining pit. And one in Let's the smithy. Let's see them at work. Let's go, people. Yes, yeah, so the way this mine looks, it feels like yeah, you do need to to put it at least on top of deposits of stuff, right? Because it's a mine, it's not a building near the mine. Low on supplies, food, and we'll bring like two more people here. It's not working right now. Okay, it's fine. Spring is around the corner. We'll just wait a second and see. And. 10 days until paid. Build a tax collector to increase the treasury. We don't have a tax collector. Some people are starving. Did we need a peasant here? Let's see, let's reduce the number of workers there. I'll remove the number of workers in the forester's hut. And even the one in the tannery, right? We'll pause those. Some peasants require food, sure. There we go, now we have berries. Which means that this forager hut needs to start doing some work. As well as this one. Let's see. Yep, we have two people here. So let's get our food. Anything else? Like the storehouse? It doesn't matter to have a storehouse right now, to be honest, over here. It's more important to have people gathering food. And with some of the wood, maybe even bring in another family. One of the biggest problems I have right now is the fact that we don't have a tax collector. Enables tax collection in the region and it is locked. Bailey Wall creates a closed wall perimeter designated the, this, to designate the area for a manor house, okay? Or a manor house must be built within a bailey. Okay, so we can do that. Provides living space for five peasants. Unlocks policies. Provides garrison space for retinue first. Manor build grants a free retinue squad of 12. Costs 10 wood to do it. So I guess we can do this building. And maybe afterwards we'll be able to build a tax collector. We would need a medium village yet. Yeah. Our treasury is not great. Oh, we are... So, every year we have to pay 5 gold. Now we are at minus 5 gold. Hmm. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't see any of these merchants stopping to, to sell us anything or buy anything from us. Even though we do have some leather. Don't rain. No, I think I set it on exports. Hmm. I am not sure. But we will work on it. Let's see. Wood. With the wood. 
Like, do we have... We have tools now. Which actually means, even though we might want to... We'll do a farm, actually, for first. So many ideas. Changing my mind every two minutes. Okay. We need four wood. So we'll do that. Get to work. Good. So now we have the wood in order to build a farm. Might be it's a little late within spring. Oh, there it is. If I look at barley, barley is over there. Mm, where do we want to place it? Like, shall we try to build something like a medium field? It says it's too steep. Let's see. Still too steep. Maybe start building it further. Or on the other side. On the other side seems to be better. Let's do a medium field to begin with. Maybe a few more medium fields. And I want to see the barley fertility, which is here. We'll do one large field, which will be barley. Barley, 73%. Rotate crops. Sure. If crop rotation is important. We'll do emmer. Flax. Not necessarily important, to be honest. For the moment, we're just gonna do follow, follow, sure. Can I change it to barley? Wouldn't be too. They wouldn't be too happy with it. Okay, we're collecting some berries. But we're still far away from having enough. It says we are now at zero months food. We have eight months worth of fuel. But zero food. So what we need to do is construct a few more houses. Or even better, we'll upgrade these ones. We've Gain some coin. From somewhere. Yeah, we have 94 regional wealth. Look at that. We sold some of the leather. Which is awesome. And we could do... Gold shed, chicken coop. We're gonna spend some of that money. Of course we are going to spend some of that money. But let's see. What are we going to do? We're gonna make a vegetable garden. Actually, because we have more space, let's make a gold shed. Over here, I am going to make a chicken coop. And in the other places, we're just going to use the tools we have available. And we're going to make farms. Why else would we build our blacksmith to create tools, right? If not to make food. Good start. We're gonna construct all of this. Everybody will start working on their garden, which will be super annoying. But hey, what can you do? Okay, so we're selling the leather. I don't want to buy the meat anymore. Okay, a good start, a good start over here. I would like to add another person as a woodcutter when we can. At the end of the day, it's a lot of work. We need a lot of people to... to gain the wood, which we chop it into firewood. Okay. It's disconnected from the road, it says. And 
where is its road? So it's over here. There we go. It's not disconnected from the road anymore. I want to bring four people here. Maybe we'll not do barley this year. But we're gonna do this. And I am going to be placing our work area in here. And let's see. For the moment, I feel like we have more than enough iron to go around. We'll pause the production on all of these. Yeah, and we'll, we'll have some tools, like I could sell some of them. Or we could wait until we can make a few more places. Look at this. They've created the goat pens, so we'll start having milk. Okay, and I want a few more families to move in. And we're gonna build them houses that can produce food. How much wood do we have? Seven. So we can't build more than three houses here. But that is not important. Three houses is more than, than two houses. <laughs> Wise words. There we go. 32 berries there. 54 berries there. So they're seasonal, they're growing, like we're trying to collect as many of them as we can. It's only now that the berries start to regrow. Do we have some people working? Well... I see none of them at the moment. What are you doing? Procrastinating and going inside. How about I build you a road, and you get to work? I mean, not that it would be like a big problem if winter is coming and we don't have enough food, right? I'm gonna build a road like this. And then we're gonna build a road that goes down there. They want it slightly circular. Like that. I do like it. Cool. So now other people are going to work. Smithy, Smithy, I'll disable you for the moment. I want more farmers. Anyone who could farm would be lovely. Where are the chicken coops? Ah, oh, here they are. Margaret rolls. The church bells are ringing. Six months worth of fuel, one month, one month worth of food. How's the granary doing? Well, the granary is doing as much as it can. We need more people to gather food. Over here we have 110. So, actually I'll just build farms mostly. But we have some extra people coming in, let's see. So the berries are almost out. We mostly need farmers. We have five, four and five. Maybe it should have started in early spring? Probably so. Plowing for a quick summer harvest possible. Crops harvest start in late summer. Plowing and sowing crops recommended for maximum yield next summer. Berries start disappearing. That's how those go. Empty area. Yeah. We need to stop this forager hut because there's nothing left to collect there. We'll have a few more berries on this side coming in. And 
hopefully uh, we'll get a good yield from these houses. Let's put down another granary. And I'll put it around around the farmhouse, right? Let's go, Between the houses and the farmhouse, it's a great place to place them. Okay. Woodcutters, I want you to change your works area and we'll start cutting these woods for the forester's hut. We'll try to gather someone on the tannery. The tannery has produced as much as it could. I believe that leathers will be bringing them their number up to 40, a target of 40. I don't want to sell anything over that or anything under that. I believe that everything that will be cultivated and gathered from these houses is going to last us throughout the year. We have three chickens and two goats at this point. And I'm gonna make a few more chicken. And if we do have the wood, then we do. Let's start building ourselves a livestock trading. Allows importing and exporting of goats. We could make a business out of this. And I want to make our manor. It takes us... How much? 10 wood. Okay, we need 2 more wood. And then we'll make our man. The reason why I'm doing that is that I'm hoping we will be able to tax the people. Which, as you can imagine, might be important. Because I need to start making beer and I need to get a second type of fool. And I believe that we will bring our ships over here. Okay. Nothing to gather anymore from the berries. It's unfortunate, but it is re reality of the moment. It's unfortunate that we have some people, but none of them, like, nothing was cultivated. Maybe I should just clear the work field. They are coming on this big field, but they didn't come in on this one, on the smaller ones. wonder why. Do they have, like, they have road connections, but these seem connected, right? Connected to a road, connected to a road. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I, ca I can't tell right now. Well, in regards to food, a sheep farm wouldn't be food, but might be important to create it now as well. Let's create the manor, first of all. We have the resources, but we can't build it. Is it because we need to construct that thing? must be built within a bailey. This is a bailey wall. Do we need to construct a bailey wall first of all? Like take a gatehouse, provides entrance points to the bailey. Maybe, maybe we need to start thinking about putting down our manor here by constructing a bailey. It doesn't seem like it costs anything. So we can imagine our very own fortress. Let's do so right about now. We'll construct... Oh, now it shows the construction cost. So we're putting down this. Then we're gonna put down a gatehouse. I 
Let's see. Could I draw road here? And maybe somehow have that gate turn around. I mean, I'm guessing I can, but you never know with this. Okay, apparently I can't. Let's see, let's put this gate like so. There we go. And as soon as this is done, the bailey, I am going to work on building the manor, which I am guessing that we will be able to place afterwards, right? But we could also, in the meantime, while that is being constructed, which will take some time, we could put down a pasture, which is once again, oh, it's just a, an area that we designed. We can put a sheep farm, which is fairly, very cheap. Only one, cost only one for it. But there's one more problem which I have in mind, which is where do we get the sheep from? And I believe that that idea, for that idea we will need this. The livestock market. Time to take a moment to breathe. For a weaver's workshop. Yeah, we could also just plant the flax into linen. Hmm. There's so much that we could do. Storage limit has been reached again. Well, let's add a people, one person here. And shall we build two more houses? Our only problem is the food. Maybe we just have to last through the winter before we jump to, to conclusions. Do we still have, we don't have the wood anymore. So we're gonna wait. farm has been constructed it is a bit wonky but hey it's a very early build so we'll forgive it for that these are the smallest problems once the game is complete as a system let us see manor house 52 fuel for four months they say. Don't they have like this in their houses? Like, yeah, they have plenty. Work area empty for the logging camp. Well, we're gonna do this then. 14 animals over there. It's starting to be autumn. Burn crops. Estimated harvest. 384 resources produced days left before harvest can I just do something like this and just put down we'll put in the third year we'll put flax on both of these but none of them have been worked except for this one I am looking forward to our harvest because this it's killing me that I am not sure whether we'll survive or not we have some stone in here as well pantry food oh, we're starting to get a lot of vegetables 
124 vegetables, look at that. So there are some houses that have their pantry cool. two people around here. Let's remove the one, one from the storehouses right now. Yeah, build more granaries, so we need to throw in some people. They're trying to collect some of the food, and yeah, I believe that all of them have their pantry foods, which means that we need to bring them here. Buying ox, buying sheep. Let's import four sheep if we can. We can bring in another ox. And over here, a manor house. Oh, I see. So this is tied to the wall. Okay, interesting. Well, on the good side is we have plenty of food finally, right? These storages is getting filled, but we need more people. I wouldn't want to build it now, but I would like to get some people off some jobs. For example, this one. I'll leave one in the hunting. The forester has done his job once again, so I'm not gonna bother it anymore. I believe we have enough fuel for now. Sure, we'll make more because there's plenty that we need still. We're importing one more ox, we're in... What? We in stock, we need a target of two, sure. And we'll have one person working in the sheep farm, if possible. The people have everything they need except for beer and a second type of clothing. Stop in firewood loading and the pantry okay I believe that we might need more of this at some point let's see a windmill to convert grain to flour and flour to bread okay. quest complete royal tax we paid our taxes hooray Paid our taxes for once. Build more storehouses. Let's just leave one and one. I'll ask for another person here. In the farm. In the granary. I'll leave only one person once again. I feel like I'm doing decently well overall. I believe that one of the games that we have to play going forward is getting a lot more people and a lot more farms. Person to the market it seems like a good idea as well. But... Who knows? Gatehouse tax collector. Okay, we'll have to see if we can build that soon. 
and a garrison tower, manor module, extra accommodation for 12 retainers. Okay. Our manor house has been completed, it's disconnected from the road. Is there a road on the other side? No. That is slightly weird, but anyway, we'll report it. We'll report the feedback. Mm, let's see. Disconnected from the road, it says. Must be built within a bailey. Provides sleeping space for five peasant and a few other things that we won't have available during this demo. family joins one of the settlers. We have four unassigned families. Well, at least we have 11 months worth of fuel and three months worth of food, which means that we'll be surviving for another year. With our city's continuous growth or our village continuous growth. I think I'm overestimating my village. For this plot, what are we going to do? Let me take a quick look over here. So, there's nothing that was brought. We'll unpause, we'll have a leather worker. We have nine tools still. Oh, we can finally construct the tax collector. And we can't build it outside of our manor. Okay, makes sense, makes sense, right? Do you want to have the tax collector somewhere within the Let's walls go, of your go. manor? Where you can protect it? And a garrison tower. In this game, we're not gonna do manor module, extra accommodation for 12 retainers. So we're gonna bring more family members to... I'm hoping that this is what it means. We're gonna bring more family members to... Fight for us. Trading post livestock, we've built those. A weaver shop, we'll work on it. But if we get barley, we will be able to make malts and then beer. As soon as we have sheep, a weaver shop will... So we need about three more buildings until we consider ourselves fully victorious. With three unassigned families, what do I do? Storage? Smithy? I guess we, what we could do is we could continue work on the smithy. have one more on the sign, we'll do metal, and over here, if we exporting tools is cheap, what catches the best price? Cloaks, shoes, ale, linen clothes, So a few things. Exporting tool set. I don't know, I don't feel like exporting tools for two gold. Doesn't seem like it's a good trade, if you ask me. Tax collector. Gail, basic, basic tax collection per family on the first day of each month. Approval minus 4. Predicted... Yeah, we'll do a minus 9 to reduce from 68. Give away a percentage of goods to the church 
it converts silver to implants. Okay, well, since it's not implemented in the game, we're just gonna take the gold and be happy with it. Logging camp, Forester probably should move this area as well, right? Let's see, where can we cut some logs from? Let's remove some of the trees from up the hill. We're at zero food, almost zero food. Well, we have some eggs, we have some vegetables within the house and we have milk. We're getting a bit of firewood made. But we've survived the winter, so the worst of it has gone away. Now it's time to reassign probably everybody from the mines and everywhere else. Garrison Tower, disconnected from the road. So within the walls it's a bit... The roads don't really do too well. But it's gonna be fine. Let's see, pantry full once again, so the houses have too much stuff in them. We have 104 berries. That means, on pause, on pause here as well, to our forager's hut. And we will pause the smiths. Good. Because they can go out and they can gather the berries. Good. Which will keep, keep us fed. And here we're making our fields work with, what, barley at this point? Soil fertility 20%. Yes, we're making barley. Okay. These don't yield anything. Um, total field workers, 8 out of 9. I would like to do one more thing. And that is provide our villager with beer. So we'll build a mold maker. After which we're going to construct a brewery. Come on, bring in the wood. Build more granaries. Yeah, so they're stocking up on a lot of food. It's just that we need a lot more people Let's get to work. gathering the food from them. Let's go, okay. And with that in mind, more houses. collecting from here. Maybe they'll be going and cutting some wood. With the rest of you. I almost feel like I should reduce from these villagers. Why there's too many and apparently they don't want to for some reason work on these farms, except for the barley one. Do we need to put ammo on it? Oh, so that's the thing. Ammo is a type of crop, follow means leaving it alone. Right, we leave it to recover. Oh, now it makes sense.
wait seven wood. Let's let's wait for eight wood. Out of which we will build four houses. We have 13 tools, which means that we could throw in some vegetables. We have zero gold right now. However, it seems like we might have just bought a few sheep. One sheep. We have no ox right now, but we have one sheep. <laughs> Still, what are we going to do with one sheep? Okay, let's not even, let's work on having extra sheep. Well, we're basically exporting tools. Did what? Did I buy tools? Because I said that food. We're not doing anything with food. We're gonna export leather. Iron slab. Iron slab seems to be better at price than having tools. Because it's less work and we still get two instead of getting two per per tool. Okay. Ayala has a price of eight, so that might be an idea to work towards. It is unfortunate, but I have a bit of bad news. The game has crashed on me and as you can see in this uh, first screen, it's a very modest view at the game and there is no saving at this point. So unfortunately we can go back to the village that we were constructing. My first thoughts on the game, it's a beautiful game. It looks good, it plays well. It has its own style that you need to learn and figure out. I mean, it feels like you have to construct decently quickly a decently sized village in order for you to have enough people that you can put around the, the farm and basically producing the basic requirements to survive and then quickly expand towards a long-term insured economy of survivor before you start investing into um, I don't know other areas would I am super interested to see uh, at some point like I'm just gonna go quickly through here put, put our tag on uh, because I, I want to speak on the game I am very curious to see like the way we started here, the way we started with this basic village, like how is it going to develop into a large city using like the trades, right? So we have this, I am really interested to see what do we unlock. Are we unlocking like unique crops? Are we going to have bees? Are we going to be going into mercantilism and create some sort of a trading center? How? Because every we could get a point of development, I believe. Yes, every time we go to another step right, in the level of the village, we get a development point. So that is useful in order to unlock this. And this is just development. There's also policy, there's production as well. Which maybe is like a different screen. I would bet that this is a different screen. So it would be interesting to see for the future. As you can see, the map is very different once you start the game again. Always... Uh, you have time to try it out a few times. If you don't like the map, restart it. Get something new. See where you can play and the, the different types of fields of view and all that. that. That is everything that I want to say for the moment. I might be doing a few more episodes, right? Make it five in total, probably for these days or something like that. But do let me know if you want to see even more than that. It's fairly important for any person who's doing videos on YouTube or is streaming to know if the audience wants to see more or if they are interested in other games as well. With that in mind, I thank you so much for watching and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.